Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a Radeon RX 6600 XT in Starfield. This one is the AFOX model of the card. We are running it with the latest AMD drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Ups. GPU zero sizable bar is also enabled or AMD SAM. This is an 8 gigabyte GPU as well. And over on the left, we're pairing it with a Ryzen 7 5800 X3D and 32 gigabytes of RAM, CL14 3600 MHz in dual channel let's get into it shall we and here we have it my friends i'm gonna start counting our fps and this is a beautiful morning in starfield well not really that beautiful because if only the game looked like a next gen title mr todd that would be amazing anyway <laughs> this is the guess the settings part of the video uh, here i want you to take a look at the graphics at the performance that we're getting with this gpu and leave a comment down below Low saying what you think we're playing on at the moment. I can say that I'm actually a little bit surprised to see this kind of performance, not dipping into the 30s. But yeah, it looks all right, especially here during the morning hours. Everything is pretty vibrant, actually. Uh, but of course, the game lacks in a lot of areas when it comes to graphical fidelity. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it right there and we're gonna take a look at the settings. I've been playing this at 1080p high. All right, guys, does it look like high? Probably not. <laughs> I mean, I would expect a next gen title to look much better on high settings, but that's just me. But let's drop it down to the low settings, turn off the upscaling. Also, the upscaling was disabled on high. The default is 62% resolution scale, which looks terrible with FSR at 1080p. Uh, but all right, this is the low settings now. There is... Not a major difference between low and high settings, both in the visuals department. I mean, I can tell the difference, obviously. It's just not massive, right? And in the performance department as well. Granted, it's now getting close to 60 frames per second, and it's probably going to get 60 frames per second on average. <sighs> but it still dips into the 50s, and we weren't really dipping from 40 frames per second, I believe, at 1080p high settings, native resolution as well. So, it's very lackluster performance for low settings, I would say, for an RX 6600 XT, but that's to be expected once again the game is completely broken in terms of optimization and i mean i would love to have seen actual good scaling between settings or maybe even a very low settings preset just let us turn down some more settings from low you know if it's gonna perform like this anyway guys it's playable certainly even at high settings it was playable so i'm not gonna bash it too much but the 6600 XT can play pretty much every other title out there at 1080p high settings with 60 FPS or more, aside from like Remnant 2 and Jedi Survivor, which are also completely broken games. <laughs> Let's try it out with some render resolution scale. I'm gonna set it to 66%, which is uh, FSR2 on quality, okay? FSR2 is enabled, of course, and let's play like this. It looks... Yeah, it looks a bit worse, for sure. A lot softer as well, probably because the sharpening is at 0%. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna set it to 69%, the best value ever. A lot of people say that 69% is a little bit too much. I don't think so, honestly. It doesn't look super over-sharpened to me. Actually, it doesn't look over-sharpened at all. I am on a 42-inch monitor, though, so <laughs> your results might vary on a smaller monitor. But, uh, yeah, the sharpening doesn't impact FPS. If you set it to 0%, it's going to get exactly the same FPS as 100%. So just adjust it whatever value you prefer and roll with that. Anyway, around here now we're getting 60 plus consistently, even the 1% lows are above 60 at the moment, at 64 FPS. That's pretty good, you know? I mean, again, it's low settings, it doesn't look very impressive, it's super static as well, like the trees don't move, the grass, some of it doesn't move. If, like this one does, but it's it's very minor. I wish to see some mods to improve the graphics in the future, like we have with Skyrim, for example. I believe in like 10 years' time, this could be a very beautiful game and actually looking next-gen, but... Uh, not today. <laughs> Alright, 81 FPS average, 63 1% loge. Let's play it on medium settings now without any upscalers first. So native resolution 
And okay, we still got a ton of noise right here, even on native resolution. See that? <laughs> that is just stupid, dude. Why is this so ugly sometimes? Oh my god. Just gonna disable the motion blur, guys, because it, it's terrible. Uh, let's start counting the FPS once again. That's a moon. Nice. It looks like our moon. Interesting. Anyway, we're still hovering around 60 frames per second. It's very similar performance to what we saw at low settings, I believe. Although we got like five or six more FPS on average. Actually, seven. <laughs> now wait, it's dropping, it's dropping. Maybe on low we'd get like 10 more FPS than medium. And on high we'd get like... 15 less FPS than low. After playing with 60 plus FPS all of the time, this doesn't really feel that great anymore. Now, we got a very important quest, my friends. Where is Bob? It's not this one. It's not this one. That's probably... Also, you know what? Yesterday, I was riding the bike with a friend of mine, and he, he started a very interesting conversation about Bob. Like, why the heck is Bob's real name Robert? Like, what? I've never thought about that. That's why we hate Bob. His name doesn't even make sense, you know? Like, why? Why Bob? Hello there. A dynamic NPC. Look at that. She was cleaning this crap. I thought they only walked around like this. All of the same. All with the, the same animation as well. I believe GTA 5 has different animations for different NPCs walking around. Well, th sometimes they hold stuff. Let's stop it there. We managed to get 60 frames per second average with 44 1% lows. Again, it's only going to drop in these big cities, so everywhere else it's going to be 60 plus all of the time, which is quite nice. Let's go to FSR at 66% or quality FSR, medium settings. And now it should stay above 60 FPS most of the time. I hope it does though. Because if it does, this is definitely the way to play this game on the 6600 XT. If it doesn't dip into the... Oh, 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 hello. Hello, Bob. How's it going? How are you? I am great now that I found you, mate. I'm going to shoot you in the face. You're not going to die, of course, because you never die. What the heck? Stop it! Stop protecting the Bobby bastard. <laughs> Bobbert, I shot you twice already. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> it's so weird. Goodbye, Bob. There we go. I just, I don't care about my health. This time around, I got 500 and something bullets on this gun before we started. But they're, they're going to be gone really, really quickly, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, anyway, over here, it usually drops a lot. 62 frames. I don't think it's dropped yet, right? Maybe it did because the 1% lows are at 54 at the moment, but I haven't really felt major slowdowns. Maybe it dropped when we were shooting people and Bob was very close to us. I don't know, guys. Also, where the hell is our robot, Vasco? What the heck, dude? I want Vasco here with me. It's, it's, it's very important, you know? Anyway, even with all of this mess happening, it managed to look decent here with 66% FSR. The LSS looks way better, but hey, it's still very seeable like this and playable. And this guy's just chilling there. Now, let's play with high settings once again. Disable motion blur and the upscaling. So this is native 1080p on high once again. And let's shoot some bastards like this. All right. Oh, my gosh. I'm almost out of bullets compared to where we started, you know. 500 something bullets and now we're down to 175 bullets. Oh my god, yeah, 40 FPS doesn't feel very good while shooting people, my friends. So if your purpose in life in, in Starfield is to kill Bob and start a big war like this one, because all of these people love Bob, you know, they do love Bob, uh, and they will try to kill you no matter what it takes. Okay, so 40 something FPS, you know, now that I have gotten used to it, I feel okay, but right after playing with 60 plus FPS, dropping it down to 40-ish wasn't ideal, for sure. Come on, <laughs> my gosh. 
Uh, in this area, it usually drops a lot with the AMD GPUs. Look in this direction, and it's getting... Yeah, it's not dropping from 40, as we saw at the beginning of the video with the Get the Settings part. Now, let's try FSR2 with 66% resolution scale. It actually defaults to 62 at high, but uh, I prefer 66 because it's quality FSR. It looks a little bit sharper, actually, than 62%. It's noticeable. And we still haven't found the real Bob, you know, the one with the the beanie. The previous one wasn't a beanie, so maybe it was Robert instead of Bobbert. <sighs> Seems like FSR2 at 66%. There's a lot of people here. Damn, you can actually hear the crowd. That's insane. <laughs> uh, anyway, that should be more CPU intensive, and of, of course the 5800X 3D won't really bottleneck the 6600X 3D. The CPU is good for around 75 FPS around here on ultra settings. So as long as the GPU doesn't hit 75 FPS on ultra settings, and this one definitely won't, I'm not gonna be CPU bound, okay? So 5800X 3D, although it's very lackluster the performance of it in this game because it doesn't take advantage of the 3D V cache, it, it still manages 60 plus FPS easily, you know? There's no worries with that. Also, if you overclock the card a little bit, you can probably achieve a few more FPS and 60 on average, for example, which is quite nice. You know, still, some things look pretty bad, though, but hey, you gotta live with this. The upscaling is the future of gaming, unfortunately. It's very terrible that it's this way. Even at native resolution, there's no way to disable the TAA, and it's actually really soft, especially compared to CS2, which I have been testing recently here in the channel. That game doesn't have any TAA, so it actually looks very sharp indeed at native resolutions, but none other game does that. Enjoy the garden. Uh, thank you. It's it's very beautiful what you've done with it. No, it's not. Like, does this look like next gen garden to you, my friends? Ugh, God. All right. <laughs> it's time for ultra settings now. Here we go. First up, disable motion blur as well as the upscaling. Let's play for a little bit at native. 1080p and ultra settings looks slightly better once again than high. But, I mean, there is not that much to it. I think medium might be the best way to go with this GPU, as I told you, I think. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Let's see the waterfall area right now. It's pretty intensive, usually, and really, really ugly. It's probably one of the worst-looking parts of the entire game. Do not come here, my friends. This is only for benchmarking purposes. Look at this crap. It didn't even splash into the water and you can't really dive. That's a very big shame. But look at this. Look at this crap. I am moving backwards, by the way. It doesn't look like it because that's freaking static. <laughs> what the hell, bro? It's just so weird to me. All right. I didn't know how to get out of that waterfall ugly area. So uh, I loaded the save again. And here we are back at it again. Morning time. Anyways, guys, ultra settings is probably not ideal. It's still good enough for like 30 FPS locked if, you, if that's your jam, or even like 35 FPS locked. It should work fine here with 6600 XT, especially with an OC. Um, but yeah, it just feels too sluggish to me, too choppy. I don't like it. I would definitely enable upscaling at 69% sharpness and. Uh, <laughs> Let's try it with 69% resolution scale first. It should be pretty much the same as 66%. A 3% resolution change is not gonna uh, make a difference here, I think. Hello, sir. <gasps> it's it's Bob! Guys, he changed his haircut! Sorry, so we wouldn't find him in this video. That's what happened. Oh, the Bobster. There we go. There we go. Bob is dead again. Uh, he still doesn't have a beanie, but okay. Uh, that's the real Bob, right? It, it can only be the real Bob. Come on, heal myself once again. All right, guys, instead of 30s, we gained about 10 FPS here with 69% sharpness, uh, uh, resolution scale and sharpness, yes. 
So I guess if you really want to play on Ultra, this is the way to go. I actually wouldn't really have a major issue playing like this. It might dip into the 30s every now and again, uh, but in very extreme scenarios. And I think 40 plus is okay. Uh, hello there. Uh, do you really think you're gonna do? Uh, tap, 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 tap. You don't even have a skin in that knife. How do you think you're gonna kill me? Should we try 66 percent <laughs> just to keep things consistent? You know, because that's the uh, quality setting for FSR. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Maybe it won't even dip into like the high 30s anymore. I don't think it did previously, but it, it dropped to 40 flat around here, I believe. Now we're getting 43, 44, sometimes 42. Yep, all right. Gets you a couple of more FPS, that 3% change in the resolution scale, which is a little bit higher than I expected, honestly. Alrighty. Goodbye, sir. We still have a ton of bullets. I can't kill these guys. To the level 12 security guards. 46 FPS average and 37 1% lows is what we got. It is okay. So I'm gonna drop it down to the medium settings preset. All right, which again, I felt like was the best uh, visuals to performance ratio. And I am gonna restart the game at 1440p just to test it out at medium and with FSR. Here we go, 2560 by 1440 is now applied. Okay, right, this is native resolution at medium settings. It's not half bad, actually, for a 6600 XT, once again, given all of the problems with optimization that this game has. All right, again, it's getting really similar FPS to like the 3070 in this area, probably a little bit lower than that card since the 3070 is way, way faster, but uh, still, it's pretty impressive the kind of performance that AMD cards can get in slow fields or star fields. You know, maybe we should start calling it star field on AMD GPUs because it actually works properly, I guess. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is getting around the same FPS as what? High settings at native 1080p. And now it looks way better. If you have a 1440p monitor with a 6600 XT, I think I wouldn't really have a problem playing like this. Once again, it's 40 plus all of the time if it gets down to 40 here. Yeah, 40 flat. A little bit of an OC will definitely keep it at 40, even in the extreme worst case scenarios, like over here, for example. And uh, it's quite stable. And of course, in other planets that don't have big cities, you can even get like 60 frames per second, which is quite nice. So I thought it was going to perform a little bit worse at 1440p, probably like with these FPS, but on low instead of medium. I'm gonna set it to 66% FSR once again, which at 1440p looks way better than it did at 1080p. And that's still not enough to put us at 60 FPS. At low settings, it would be. But I guess if you are playing at 1440p, it's because you value visuals and you don't really want to drop it down to low settings. I mean, now that I remember, even at low settings in 1080p, it also dropped from uh, 60 FPS. So. Yeah, I guess 60 average at these settings is actually quite nice, isn't it, guys? Once again, a lot of noise, even at 1440p resolution with 66% FSR, of course. But even without FSR, there would still be a ton of noise, as I'm about to show you. There we go. It's pretty much the same crap. Look at that. How do they look at this and think, yeah, no, this looks amazing. I, I'm, what, what if I set it to, like, ultra settings? Without FSR, native ultra settings at 1440p. It still has a ton of noise. What the hell are they doing, man? And we're getting 30s, actually. So it might be possible to play this at ultra settings in 1440p on a 6600 XT. Especially an overclocked one. Let's wait a second. If we disable motion blur and enable FSR 2 on 66%, it's probably going to stay above 30 all of the time, right? Yeah, I guess that's the case. All right. I wasn't expecting to test 1440p Ultra with FSR here in this video, but here we have it. I'm glad I did try it for a little bit. So, yep, yeah, 6600 XT. 
pretty reasonable results here in Starfield. Also, sorry that it took this long for me to test this GPU in particular. I saw a guy commenting <laughs> in almost every single video saying that I forgot about the card. I didn't forget about it. I just... I don't know. CS2 seemed more important, but hey, here it is. Catch you in the next one very soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.